All right, so I wanted to talk about risk in your life and kind of risk management. I think uh, basically everything in life is some, some kind of gamble, right? You can choose to do stuff that you perceive to be safer or you can choose to do stuff that you think is more risky because you're uh, making a calculated bet on thinking that you're going to have a better outcome, whether it's, you know, choosing a certain type of profession, deciding to live in a certain place, deciding to get a certain amount of education. Uh, everything you do in life is a form of gambling. Really, I mean, it is. Uh, there's, there's, you have a fixed amount of time and you can kind of spend that time uh, everyone has this, essentially the same amount of time in a day and, uh, you know, how efficient you are at that time is up, to, is up to you. And, you know, what you decide to do with your time and, you know, uh, time and money is just resources, right? So I've said it in other videos, but a big problem is that a lot of people spend four or five years of their time and a lot of money to get what essentially turns out to be a pretty worthless degree, a college degree, right? It's not all degrees, but it's, you know, a, a growing percentage of college is not only a waste of time, but a waste of money. Now, if you're good at networking and you're a people person and you're, you got your head on straight and you're, you're outgoing and you're relatively smart, you know, you could still, you probably have a good outcome. But it's not like it was 30 years ago or 40 years ago where you just go to college and then you get a good job at the end, right? You, you kind of have to be smart and be outgoing and, you know, uh, put yourself in new situations uh, because it's really more about who you know than what you know, right? It's more about who do you know? Who got you this connection? Who got you this job? Someone referred me. Now I'm in a better paying job or a better company. And you, you, you know, you're in a, you're, you, you've risen above 90% of everyone else who is in the lower tier of not knowing anyone, maybe having to apply to a job online, being one applicant in like a pool of hundreds or even thousands, and maybe, you know, struggling to even get an interview. Um, so that's, that's one form of it. But um, when it comes to your job, obviously, a lot of people, they want to do something where there's a uh, minimal amount of risk. Like they want to have their comfort. They want to have a steady amount of income and they want to know that their job security is going to be there. Right. If you, if you're stressed out all the time and you're worried that you're going to lose your job, you're worried that you're going to, you know, not make any money. That's very stressful. So you look at people that go into like a sales type job or they start their own business or they're an entrepreneur that is a very high risk uh, uh, situation there. Now, higher risk means it comes with higher rewards too. So if you're able to actually be successful at, in, a, in, a, in a sales job or in a uh, entrepreneur starting your own business, the potential is high there, but the probability of success is pretty low, right? The overwhelming majority of, of small businesses fail and they pretty much fail miserably. Like they, 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 they never really get off the ground and they don't make much money and then they end up, you know, sh shuttering, closing like pretty, pretty uh, quickly. But if you're, if you're very risk, if you have a high appetite for risk and you're pretty smart, you can have a good outcome doing that. Um, but a lot of people are, they're too, they're too nervous to do that, right? Because then they don't have steady income they don't have uh, like a set schedule on what they're doing and they get a little bit spooked out by that, right? How am I gonna pay my bills? How am I gonna take care of my family? Uh, so traditionally, a lot of people have said, I don't wanna do that. Like, I don't wanna start my own business. I don't wanna be a, a, you know, in a high pressure sales environment because just like in sales, if you're at the right sales company and you're really doing a good job, you could make good money, right? You can make more commission. But if you're doing sales and you're, you're, you're not doing good, you know, you're going to get fired probably, or you're going to not make a lot of money. You're going to make no money and you're going to be working really hard, uh, trying to sell people stuff on the phone all day, you know, dealing with crap all day, people telling, you no, it's, um, uh, stressful, right? A lot of people will put up with that, 
right? And having to go out and hunt every day because they know that they can make more money. They can get more resources by doing what is a kind of a difficult job, having to go out and hunt, uh, you know, every single day of your life. So that's the trade off there. Now, you know, like I said, a lot of people just don't want to do that. They want something that's steady, that's reliable, that they know they're going to have it in six months or a year or two years and that they have a high level of job security. But more so now, you know, even jobs that traditionally have been very like, oh, this is a good job. This is stable. This is secure. A lot of people are, are you know, I just read something on a uh, line that said basically like 50% of all workers are act or you know looking for another job. I don't know if it was actively, but they're considering changing jobs or doing something different. And I think that's because whatever they're doing now, even if they think it's a safe job, like oh they would never fire me or I would never lose my job, uh, they are work they are they are coming to the grips that the economic reality of what they're getting for what they're doing is not enough. So. Now the real gamble is staying at a bad job or at a low paying job or at a job that doesn't pay you enough to get ahead, right? Because if you put more of your time in life into a career or uh, occupation that just is not providing you enough to really get by, that is more of a gamble than almost going out and being like an entrepreneur, right? You know. Because again, it just depends, but if you have a stable job, but you just don't make enough money to really live a comfortable life, then you're always gonna be on edge. Like you're never really gonna be able to get ahead. Yes, you might not be homeless, right? So that's there's something to be said about that. That obviously it's good to have a job and to not be homeless. Like that is that is the base level. But if you if you if you if you look one level above that, it's like, I'm spending my time doing this and what I'm getting is not enough resources to live a life where I thought I was going to live, which again, home ownership, family, you know, some amount of financial security, some amount of like retirement or future savings moving forward. And a lot of people are finding with their standard kind of reliable, normal job, that that's not providing the, the enough resources to get there. Historically, it did. You didn't have to go way out on the risk curve and be an entrepreneur or gamble on stuff or you know try to trade stocks or go into cryptocurrency or do all these speculative things because you could just go work a normal job and you would have enough money and resources to buy a house and to start a family and to get ahead. Now, I think a lot of younger people are they're 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 way more risk on. They're way more open to gamble on stuff uh, in general. I mean, all the, just even all the gambling that goes on in sports, right? So much more young people are involved in gambling, uh, you know, casinos and sports and um, cryptocurrency and stocks. Um, and they're way more risk on about their career. You know, they're saying, I don't, I don't wanna just go work a normal type job because I'm never gonna get ahead. You know, the, 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 the social contract of just working a job for 30 years and then retiring and having a comfortable life has been kind of broken. You know, you, you, your, your wages don't necessarily keep up with inflation. There's no pension really anymore. Um, housing prices have gone up 40% in the last four years. Uh, the mortgage payment is just not tenable for a lot of people unless you live in a really low cost of living area. So... The real risk, I think, a lot of young people, and myself included somewhat, you look at the situation and you say, geez, am I really, am, am I, is the risky thing here doing the safe thing? And I think it is, right? It might be a little bit better to do something more risky because if you do the safe thing, uh, you have to live very modestly. And even at the end of it, you might not really have much with inflation and with wages and uh, you know, not having like a, a bona fide retirement vehicle at the end of it, such as a pension, uh, you, you just don't know. So that's the, that's the, 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 the crossroads that young people face is like, do I do what my parents and grandparents did and just be loyal and try to stay with a reliable job company for a long period and hope that everything works out? 
or do I kind of have to reinvent myself and do different things and maybe try to run my own business or work at a startup company or do something different that's more risky because you know, I think young people are viewing the traditional thing as being very low potential and very risky too, because you financially just might not get much for it. And you're always gonna be in that, like I said in other videos, in the two thirds or three fourths of people that are just kind of paycheck to paycheck, right? Their expenses just keep going up, you know, keep going up and their income is relatively flat, right? So you have to get into a sales job or you have to get into, you know, an entrepreneur type business or starting your own business or doing something more risky because you need more money, right? You can't afford to get by on just a normal paycheck anymore. Um, but again, those things are risky, right? Sales jobs, they can come and go, you know, people might not be buying stuff. You might work really hard and not make a lot of money. You got like the quota system, uh, entrepreneur like i said a lot of people start a business with high hopes and they end up failing and then they end up losing everything but a lot of people are being pushed into doing that i think out of desperation they say i i don't see any other way i have to do something else in order to get ahead or else i'm going to be constantly you know counting my pennies and you know just struggling because everything just keeps costing more so if you don't make if you don't have a if you don't have a machine to, to earn more money, you are just constantly getting squeezed. Everything gets more expensive and your income stays relatively the same. So your purchasing power just goes flat or goes down. So anyways, I'm rambling, but you can subscribe. Let me know what you guys think on it and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.